We are now two weeks into Russia's war on Ukraine. For an employee of Menominee Falls High School, the pain of this war is personal. Her son is in Ukraine helping soldiers in the front lines. Jessica Maduker shows us how that community is now stepping up to help. Any minute I can basically lose my child. It's a frightening time for Natalia. She and her daughters live in Menominee Falls, but she has a 19-year-old son back home in Ukraine. He's on the front lines in Kharkiv. He goes to medical college and he's uh, helping soldiers who were badly wounded. Natalia teaches at Menominee Falls High School, but she's been picking up other jobs so she can send money back to him. I'm sending like my recent paychecks. It's a lot of work and it's stressful. I pledge to myself if I need to have four jobs, I'll go and find a job number four in order Ukraine to get a victory. But it's nothing like what her son is going through in Ukraine. I hear shooting, uh, constantly shooting and screaming and people like uh, crying. She calls him as much as she can, but she hasn't heard from him in several hours. Where is your son now? Actually, I have even no idea. She figures there are signal outages due to the constant Russian attacks. Yesterday, uh, there was an attack, a cruel attack in our city, and the bomb hit the television station, and there was no electricity and no wire. So we lost all our wireless system, and I'm living hour by hour, actually. No communication as the war continues to rage. She hopes her son is still alive. It's very hard for me right now, but all I can do is just work, send money, help, and pray. And Natalia tells me she still has not been able to get in touch with her son, but if there's anything she would tell him, it would be, I love you. Close family friends have created a fundraising page to help ease that financial burden. For more information on how you can help, visit our website at TMJ4.com. For now in Milwaukee, Jessica Maduker, TMJ4 News.